Welcome to Play D&D, where we take your favorite characters and send them on fun new adventures using the power of D&D. I'm Cassie, I'll be playing Gamora, and this is Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 1, Episode 2. So, we meet Gamora. Uh, she's been avoiding Thanos for about a year now. Um, she's escaped him like, about a year ago, and uh, she's been essentially an assassin for hire since then. So doing kind of like uh, bounty hunter type things, you know, various jobs. Um, she's done quite a few jobs for a corrupt Nova Corps member called Chad, uh, and he has her hunt down and kill various criminals that keep getting out of prison. Usually they're higher ranking ones, like politicians or people who essentially can like pay their bail. Um, so right now, she's on a job for Chad to go kill a corrupt politician from the nearby planet of Corbin. You're currently on Xandar. Um, you're killing a Corbinite politician named Jamis, who's been running a drug cartel out of Corbin and through Xandar for quite a few years. Um, and the Nova Corps haven't been able to get at him because he's a high-ranking politician in, in the Corbin Empire. Um, so this week, Jamis is actually visiting Xandar on a political business trip. Um, you know that he's staying in a private suite in the Human Hotel on Xandar. It's essentially a hotel with a bunch of uh, human things. So in his room, for example, he'll have like a bowling alley and like a fake golf course and everything. It's kind of, Earth is kind of like a um, novelty. Humans are like a novelty to them. So. Um, because humans haven't really broken into uh, inner space travel and everything, they're kind of considered not as smart. Um, so over time, people have collected various things that humans do and brought them into this hotel. Um, you know that he is staying on the fifth floor of this hotel, and he's rented the main central suite. Essentially, the way this hotel looks, it's just like two half circles with the tops touching each other. So it's like one and then you like flip it and then there's the other one, right? Um, the front is like around um, part of the city and it opens up into the rest of the city. And then the back opens up into the water um, and it's like a back pool area for the hotel. Um, and you know that he is staying, like I said, on the fifth floor and he essentially has the central part of that, like the X part of that building. Um, so there's... Uh, he, it is the top floor, so there are various ways to get in. Um, and currently, you are on the roof. Of that building. Of that building. Okay. And well, he has ju just checked in, and he's about to... He's You know that he's in the elevator, like, going up to his room. All right. Does he have a balcony on his room? Uh, sure. Yeah, he has all a right. balcony. So I want to get down on that balcony. Okay. Um... Jeez. <laughs> um, you you kind of like you fall um, unceremoniously and make a big noise, but you you get down there. <laughs> I see. I should have used my non curse dice. <laughs> you get there, but you it's right. very loud and but sure. thankfully he's not. But he's not there yet, so it's no. okay. <laughs> and I, I want to like. So is there like a like a slidey glass door here or? Um, essentially, like there's a it's a. It, all the walls of this place are windows. Um, from the inside, you know that they can be dimmed and whatever, but right now they're pretty clear. Um, and the way it works is there's a control panel on the side, and if you have the room code, you can open it up. Or you can hack into it or whatever. Do I have the ability to hack into it? Uh, you can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> would, it, would it alert people if um, I failed? If you do really bad, yeah. Um, usually they give you, like, um, you don't know the exact number, but, like, upwards of five tries to try to get in. All right. Um, if you end up, ha if you end up tripping the, the mainframe security, um, it will alarm the blue player All and right. everything. I, I want to try once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, I have a few tries, so I'm going to try once more. Okay. Uh, no, no. no. It, I don't think it, 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 like, it, like, waits a second, you're like, oh, maybe, and then no. All right. Um, you don't know if breaking in, like, breaking the glass will, um, 
trip the alarm or not. Well, I'm going to... Can I, like... Is there, like, a corner where I can hide on the balcony? Is there any place out there that I can... Uh, the whole... All the walls are windows. So, and right now they're so, not dimmed, so, so no, not really. No. I, you could try. I'm sure there's, like, a potted plant or something you could try to hide behind. Um, <laughs> Make sure you're in good <laughs> uh, That would be uh, part of your sneak, which I think is pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's plus five, so, I mean, you could try. Uh, all right, I'm going to try to hide <laughs> behind that nice potted plant there. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> good all right so you hide behind that plant <laughs> you are green so you blend in perfectly I you kind of like it. it's like one of those tall <laughs> potted plants and then you kind of stand there and put your arms out like yeah, this sure. and you are perfectly hidden somehow <laughs> you can't see me <laughs> um all right so uh the doors the elevator doors open can i still see like into the room through the plant yeah well you're standing over it Sure. But some like you you're over the plant. Oh, Your I'm head over is over the it. plant. Just somehow you're hidden. <laughs> I'm a it's, it's like a flower. Yeah. <laughs> Your face is a hair. flower. Yeah. Um, I'm like... <laughs> uh you open the door or the elevator doors open and out steps the Corbinite politician. The Corbinites are a race where they're they're mostly humanoid and they're uh, orange skin. Can I look up a picture? Yeah, you can look up a picture, but I gotta describe it anyway for okay, yeah, three listeners at home. Um, the the only thing that's not really humanoid about them is their head looks kind of like a really skinny horse head, oh. like um, think like a really malnourished horse where the 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 skin on their face is just hanging off their bones, just barely, like like really tight, and that's like a Corbinite's face. So it is a. Uh... Jamis like jacked like this uh they are well no they're about average human right, strength so but he's human. he's also a politician so he's right. like their race in general looks more muscular but like um their muscles are just weaker sure. so um he's not not ripped but he's not like jacked so um that's okay i can handle him yeah <laughs> Um, so he's going to step into the room, uh, and you see in the elevator, two guards, um, and he turns to them and says something that you can't hear, uh, because there is glass in between, um, and they just stay in the elevator and they close this and they go back down. And then he kind of looks around in the room. You see that near the center, like right across from the elevator, um, which is at the center part of this kind of X area is just a ginormous bed. Um, and this is really like the the luxury suite. Um, and in the corners of each of these uh, X arms or whatever you would say um, are various uh, human games. So one is like pool and then the other one is like a, bowl, a little one lane bowling alley. Bowling alley. Uh, the next one is like a virtual uh, golf simulator. And then after the next one is a couch with like a flat screen TV. Um, Currently not playing anything. Yeah, I'm over here. Um, let's say that you are over by the golf, hiding behind that plant. Lizards at home can't see this, but <laughs> uh, essentially she's behind a potted plant that's near the golf area, which is towards like coming out of the elevator. It's like to the to the bottom right-ish sort of. Um, yeah, so he's gonna step in and just kind of look around, um, and. Give me odds or evens. Hmm. Odd. All right. So he ends up walking over to the balcony that you're on and uh, taps the code in um, and then walks out. Oh, yes. I was going to try to get him out here anyway. I was going to try to distract him. <laughs> um, We're five stories up. Yeah. Yeah. Is that enough I'm to kill going a to. What? Is that enough to kill a person? <laughs> I mean, uh,. Since it's a hotel, and since you're like in the heart of Xandar, not a ton of people expect a ton of crime because this is literally the the hub of yeah. the Nova Corps. Um, so you're not expecting, a, like like they're not on the lookout to per se. Um, and you are five stories up, so it's not too conspicuous. There's not like Nova Corps ships flying around or anything. But if something you know, you know, calamitous happens, people will notice, and then. Obviously, they'll call space cops. So. I'm, I'm saying, if I threw him off the balcony, is it high enough to kill him? Oh. I mean, sure. <laughs> I, <yeah. laughs> 
I don't you could try. <laughs> uh I guess um probably you'd guess. Okay. They're like they're not they're a little more fragile than humans. Like they're they're a little less strong, but because their race is so ripped for them, they're about the same as humans. Um and you're a little bit stronger than humans. So right. um based on that their physique is not not it's like almost as strong as a human kind of like maybe like teenager okay so so what's he doing on the balcony um i'll do it <laughs> uh evens this time so he is he just kind of walked out like straight out onto the balcony and he just put his hands on the railing and just kind of looking out like, yeah, so he's not he hasn't seen you yet uh, i'm gonna see yeah so you know he doesn't see you um and my job is to kill him, yes? Yeah, your okay. job is to kill him. And then you, yeah, your, your job, you know that Chad gave you the job of killing right. him and then reporting it back to him. Right. Uh, you don't, you don't have to bring anything back, any proof, because Chad, you've worked you for him. cut us that off. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> uh, you, you've proved yourself to him. You've worked with him multiple times over the past year. Um, and also, it won't be long before it's released to the press that a high-ranking politician is dead, so... Alright, I want to sneak up behind him and I'm back. Are you using your sword? Um, no, I'm going to use my dagger. Okay, you're going to use your dagger? Uh... You can use either, it doesn't really matter. Uh... Are you like... You know what, I'm going to use both my swords and make this super dramatic and like as I'm doing that, like shove him off. Okay, alright. <laughs> um... Yeah, All right. so that, that's, that's one of them, that one hit. Oh... <laughs> All right, so the second one does not hit. Ah. <laughs> so um, you take both your swords and you stab one like through his right lung and just stab him straight through. The second one, you like try to go for the second lung, but I guess your death perception is, is off. So you end up kind of doing off, like, right? you end up doing that fake death thing like through the armpit. <laughs> um, so he's startled to say the least. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay um do i get to like push him off too yeah uh i'm gonna roll that's gonna be a strength for that as well um yeah so you want to you want to push him as well that'll yeah. be like one action just show yeah, like, mm -hmm. um and then maybe yeah you're you're gonna add a, you're gonna add a because this is one motion right. and then like and your then, like, your foot i gotta get my swords out sword out of him so i gotta so are you, like are you doing push or are you doing stab kick while well, pulling. Well, I'm doing, like, push, and if he's not going over, then... <laughs> <laughs> okay. One at a time. <laughs> so, uh, which one are you doing? <laughs> I'm pushing him. Alright, you're gonna push him with your sword. And just falls off okay. my sword. Um, Alright, so... Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, 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 um, because you're only using one hand, you push him and he just kind of like squeeze him really hard against the <laughs> railing. Um, and he's like kind of leaning over, uh, gasping for air, but he's not fully over yet. He is like halfway over, like Ugh. he's on, he's like teetering. So you could, you could, um, he does, however, reach into his pocket and you see that he's pull, trying to pull out a communicator. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, he's going to reach into his communicator and try to punch the the numbers for the guards. Mm -hmm. Um, Ozzy Rivens. Uh, um, dang it. Uh, nope. He gets them. So he rings the number and he's and uh immediately he starts shouting, "Guards, help!" What are you gonna do? I'm going to take my hand off. Nope. I want my sword. Um. You could try to do the kick thing. Yeah. And kick him off. He is. He's like. He's teetering. So like. He imagine his waist is on the. Yeah, I'll just. I'll kick him then. I'll kick him off. Okay. You could also just pull your sword out and then kick him. Like. That's you, what I'm doing. It's like a one kind of like. A... Okay. All right. Um. Okay, Do better this time. That's nice. Better. All right. So yeah, you kick him off and you pull your sword out and you're just kind of standing there massively while he just drops. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is over like the, the this side of the hotel is looking out over the water um but he falls like right down on the curb like literally next to the water <laughs> so he splats he's dead he's very very dead um uh odds or evens uh odds yes all 
right, you uh, you know that he called the guards, so you're assuming they're on their way, but mm-hmm. they're not here yet, so you have okay. a little bit of time. All right, so I want to get... Can I get back on the roof from here? You could try. <laughs> okay. Um, gonna... You are you are a little stronger than humans, like I said, so you could probably jump it because it's just like right. normal, yeah. you know, six or seven I'm gonna, foot high. I'm going to get up there. Okay. That's not... <laughs> All right. You like you. <laughs> you jump up. You put your leg like you get high enough. You put your leg out to grab it, and then you just slip, and you kind of just fall back down. All right. All right. Um, Anybody coming in? You hear the ding as like right. the elevator door just kind of dings, and it's about to open. All right. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> I gotta get up. I have my swords with me, right? I don't have to pick yeah, anything up. Yeah, you put them back in. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> You friggin' leap. You jump like twice the height you did last time and you land on I that roof. I need to make sure I get up there. <laughs> um, yeah, you're fine. So you, you jump up and you land like super softly like friggin' cat. Um, and you hear um, the, the you hear like the, the elevator doors open and the, and the guys, uh, the two, well, yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, you notice that about... Okay, so you you see that like four you you hear that four distinct footsteps come out of the elevator and they're looking around for uh, the the politician. You see or you hear them kind of going towards the balcony and you assume that they kind of see like the blood that's on the balcony. Sure. Um, what do you want to do next? You have a li- you you have very limited time before actually. Uh, odds or evens? Uh, even. Okay, so uh, you have like you have very little time before you assume that like uh, it's gonna leak that he's killed, and you don't want to be on the site when that happens. All right. Did I have an escape plan before I came in here? Did you? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. <laughs> I um I left. I mean, you don't have a ship. Um, I'm assuming you just kind of like climbed climbed up this building or maybe just even went up is there an adjacent normally. building i could jump onto um the next building is only three stories high so you'd be jumping down two stories but you could you could theoretically make it i'm gonna try that okay. and then from there i want to climb down and steal somebody's little any sort of vehicle and run away okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm gonna jump over <laughs> Um, so you, you run, (laughs) um, so you run over, like you're, you're running to the edge of the building. You're running down one of these X like, uh, edges. You run at like as fast as you can and you like jump right at the lip. You end up catching your foot just Mm -hmm. a little bit and you start tumbling and you're essentially in free fall. Um, you're, you are going to collide with that building about second story. Um, so what do you want to do? You're in free fall. Um, I'm assuming you want to just break through a window or something or catch yourself. Yeah, I want to catch myself. So do you want to, you want to try to like catch yourself with a sword or do you want to try to break through the window and get inside the building? Oh, I want to go inside and that makes a lot more. Okay. So yeah, uh, wouldn't a dagger be better for catching myself on the way down? Whichever. I'm going to use my dagger. I like my sword, so I'm going to save you- them. You're gonna catch yourself, yeah. or are you gonna break into the window? I'm not breaking into the window. I'm catching myself. Okay. Um. <laughs> you do not catch yourself. Um. So you <laughs> you try to reach out with your dagger. And you, you you like you stab it in. This is how I get caught. <laughs> Um, it catches, but you do not. Your hand slips and oh, the no, dagger's just I there. Oh, I my dagger? Yeah, I mean, they're cheap. But, um, and you fall the rest of the way down and you hit the ground. Oh, boy. Taking four damage. So you are now in an alley between the hotel and, uh, this convenience store or whatever. Um, what do you want to do now? You can now hear police sirens starting to come by. Um. Would I be recognized by... Law enforcement. Potentially. You are a wanted criminal. Okay. Um, you've been an assassin for hire for a year now, and you are very effective, generally. What? I'm going to use my disguise kit. <laughs> I'd like to put that on. Um, your disguise kit is essentially a hood. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay. Like, all right. 
Okay. I'm um, going to use whatever is available to me. Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, so you think you're good. <laughs> um, I think I'm good. You want to walk out? Um, yeah, I want to be like what real, do you do? real casual. Um, I just want to like walk down the street and hope nobody notices me. Okay, well, you're in like an abandoned alley right now, so I'm, do you want to get out into the like, crowd? Yeah, go out okay. in the crowd. And All right, so street. you kind of, um, how's your evens? Evens. Okay, so you walk out, and um, you hear behind you, like, steps come out, but it's, like, right after you turn around the corner. Um, what do you want to do now? Um, there are police starting to swarm this area. Right. Um, there's probably about two Nova Corps ships that are coming in, and there's, like, a patrol of about, like, 10, 15 officers coming into the building. Okay, that's nice. Coming around. Um, I want to casually, but quickly, walk away as though I'm on business going somewhere. <laughs> Uh, my business is running away okay um you're not seen so you think you think you're home free you think um uh what do you want to do now you did lose your dagger so you could you could either go back for that you could try to buy a new one no i would they recognize my dagger if it was left there uh would they do you buy personalized stuff I'd assume you would, because her daggers are pretty uh, stylized. Yeah, there's probably... i probably get them from, like, the cool place, you know? Let's say that that dagger is one that Thanos gave you. Oh, um thanks. <laughs> so, uh, it's pretty recognizable. Right. It's, you know, uh, it's got Thanos' seal of Thanosness. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I... Am I sneaky enough? Probably. To what? Climb up? To go back for it. You could, um... You could either, like, it's it's stuck in, like, a beam on, like, say, like, in between uh, two, like, two windows on, like, the second floor. So, you could potentially try to go inside and get it, but it is on the second floor. And since this is, like, a convenience store, um, just, just, like, it's a, just a general store. It has various, you know, things, assuming probably daggers. Um, usually, the second and third floor of these buildings are either um, storage or, like, personal living. So, it's not very common for people from the street to go up there all right without well, like yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go up to the second floor from inside the building or climb up uh from inside I'm gonna go okay inside. you're just gonna walk upstairs yeah i'm gonna, be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna okay go in <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sneak up i'm gonna sneak up I'm not you're gonna, gonna sneak like... up you gotta tell me which one you're doing <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna like sneak up. So you walk inside. No, no, Hold, first, I gotta describe the store for you. First. So you walk, you walk inside this convenience store, and uh, inside it's just like you know, um, essentially, uh, they have like a bunch of those, like you know, those uh, spinning things that have uh, in stores mm-hmm. that have like you know, usually like racks. glasses or whatever yeah, on. Yeah, the racks. spinning racks. Um, essentially they have a bunch of those, but they're just held, they're just, like, all their wares are suspended in air by, like, uh, way scaled down versions of, like, a, uh, tractor beam. Um, and essentially there's, like, six of those, like, uh, two, like, one on each side, and there's, like, three of them in a line. And then along the walls are all, um, various kinds of weaponry. Um... So like it's 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 like low key weaponry like a super light sure. blaster or whatever. Um, in space, uh, gun gun uh, laws and everything aren't really a thing, so they sell them in like basic you know Dollar General type stores. Um, and then the one the the wares spinning on the the main uh, rack things are just uh, like rations, um, various things like that you know flashlights whatever. Right. Um, and in the back is the counter where the shopkeeper is staying and behind him are the stairs to go up to the second floor all right is there anybody else in the store uh you see like one or two other people like maybe a pink skinned person or whatever so i'm gonna i'm gonna like but they're are you there, know, focused are on there the shelves windows that look out there are windows on the front like sure. next to the door would and I then the door is the like com- a glass window would i see like the commotion out there yeah all right so I'm gonna be like, guys, wow, have you have you seen what's going on out there? Like, I, I don't know what happened, but it looks pretty scary. Uh, uh, well, persuasion. Okay, my persuasion is not very good. Well, you are not very charismatic. That's okay. 
Okay. Um, the two, uh, the two, uh, people that are just kind of looking at the various, you know, wares or whatever. Um, they're they kind of seem interested, and they and they kind of go over and look outside. Um, the shopkeeper doesn't move. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go up to the shopkeeper. Okay. I'm gonna be like, hey man. I lost my dagger. You know, I was just, I was just throwing it around, and I lost it. It like flew into a lake or something. So I'm looking for a replacement. You got anything like that that you could show me? You know, tell me about here. Uh, he says, uh, yeah, on the uh, on the the left wall there is a uh, uh, lots of daggers for for various things. Uh, yeah, see, well, there. as you can see, I'm more of a sword person, so I. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at with daggers. Do you think you could talk me through some things? Uh, 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 he's, uh, he's like, uh, no, I stay here. <laughs> uh, I, I can't, it's like, it's, you see that, like, the, the daggers are only, like, one, like, section away from the counter, so it's pretty close, and he seems like he's kind of, like, I can just talk to you from here. Um, you think that he might have had trouble with robberies in the past or something. Sure. Uh, I don't know why he's like Chinese, but... <laughs> what, are, what are the other two in the store doing? Are they still looking They're the looking at the window, yeah. Right. They're, they're entranced by everything. You see um, some cops. Uh, the cops have like now, you, you've assumed, kind of like cleared out the hotel. Um, and so now they're kind of going around looking for witnesses. Um, you see two cops, or two Nova Corps come into the building that you're in and they're gonna start asking questions about like who's seen what and everything all right um uh real quick odds or evens uh evens okay just a roll for myself uh -huh. um i want to get real interested in the daggers just like okay turn my back to everybody and be like mm. <laughs> okay um so you uh get real interested in there um, but of course, still be noticing yeah. what happened. <laughs> uh, the two, stupid. the two officers kind of come in and they uh, kind of whispered, say something to each other, um, and then they, uh, one of them starts to go talk to the other two that are looking out in the window, and one of them comes back to the shopkeeper, um, and he asks him a question. Which why don't you roll? I just went blank for a minute. Yeah, roll perception to see if you can hear what they say. <laughs> okay. Uh, nope, you don't hear anything. <laughs> You're not doing well this I time. I don't like these dice. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're really, not really good. You want those? Yeah, maybe. Um, um. Yeah, so the the guard starts talking to the, the shopkeeper, and the shopkeeper uh, says something and then points at you. Oh. Um, and the guard kind of looks at you and starts walking over to you. All right. I want to be casual. I want to find out what he wants, what what he's thinking here. Okay. So uh, he walks up to you and says, uh, uh, "Ma'am, where were where were you before you uh, walked into this uh, fine establishment?" Well, you see, <laughs> you're doing really well convincing the DM here. <laughs> I was just out on the street and I uh, I had thrown my dagger into a lake a while ago and so I was like, "Hey, they have daggers here. I was gonna come check it out." He does these. not believe you oh at all. So he doesn't. He doesn't believe me. He does not believe you when, at all. He kind of squints and he's like, "Where were you about fifteen minutes ago before you came in this shop?" Uh, and he's. You see that he's kind of like, he's. He stands a little different, like a little more like bigger, almost like he's not trying to seem a little more intimidating. All right. He's doing the bad cop routine. You see that he slightly moves his arm a little bit, but you can't see what he's doing. Alright. You think he's reaching for something in his belt, though. Right. Probably like a taser. Uh, odds or evens? Uh, evens. Okay. Um. What are you gonna do? Uh, is he, like, is he wearing a helmet? Yeah, they're all wearing helmets. They all have, like, matching. these, yeah, they all have the matching Novacore helmets. They're essentially, like, just think, like, a bucket. They're kind of, like, okay, think... I I know what I, I know, but I like, like uh, it's kind of like 
Django Fett's helmet, except the front is more uh, cut by the cheeks and then just kind of a V down to the nose, almost like Batman's. Um, and it has the uh, the star symbol for the Nova Corps. You can't see his eyes, if that's what you're wondering. or like All you can see, really, to read his expression no, is his I, lips. No, I was going to try to knock him out. <laughs> you um, can try to do it through the helmet. Yeah, it doesn't work as well, though. Um, There's also the other guard. There's a bunch of other, other guards. There's a bunch outside. There. And um, you see that they're, they they started fanning out. They're trying to find the person. All right. Well, was... I'm going to run upstairs. You're going to run upstairs. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run upstairs and I'm going to go to the wall um, where my dagger is. Well, well okay. Are you going to... Because you can either run past this guy or you can run, like, out and across. So, like, that'll take more time or you could try to push past this guy and just go straight up. I'm going to just push past him. Okay, so roll straight. I'm, I'm pretty strong. I'm pretty strong. I'm not pretty strong. You try to like, you you try to run past him, but his uh his reflexes are really fast because he's you know he seems a little grizzled. He just pulls his arm out and stops you, and he's like, "Where are you going?" And then he start he reaches back and he starts pulling out like space cuffs, and he's like, "I'm gonna have to take you to the station and ask you some questions." I want to behead him. You want to behead him? Yeah. Okay. You sure? Are you out. are you running past him and beheading him? Because that no, will give I'm you disadvantage. Gonna, I'm just gonna behead him, and then, and then I'll bolt. see what happens. Yeah. Are you gonna see what happens? You're gonna bolt. I'm gonna bolt. A roll perception. Okay. All right. All right. So, um. Oh, okay. Roll attack. Cause you. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> this I'm, is not this how you I'm becoming this Adam is. now. This is not how I pictured it. I assumed you'd get caught in a hotel. <laughs> There were four guards that came out of the elevator. You just rolled. First of all, you selected the right, like you selected the right odds or evens for them to stay in the elevator longer. <laughs> he didn't think I'd get out of the hotel. I thought the I thought he would call the guards a lot faster. I assumed he would see you and there would be a tussle, but you killed him really fast. I'm freaking awesome! <laughs> I am an awesome assassin, and that's you are a good assassin. I, okay, right. I'm so, beheading him. Okay, so <laughs> okay, roll the hit. Are you kidding me? Using your sword, right? So that's eight. No, he. Uh, you swing up at him, but you like you end up hitting his shoulder pad, um, which is like metal, and just kind of clangs and bounces off. Um, go ahead. All right. Uh, yeah. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, also. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. What are you gonna do? Um. Is his armor too hard to, like, pierce through? Uh, essentially, it's kind of like, think like a crop top. So, oh, so his, it stops so right, belly, like... I could, like, you go could, up underneath. Yeah, or you could just, like, stab him in here. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to, like... <laughs> you don't have to attack him. You could just run past and I'm try not... to run upstairs. You gonna attack him? Yeah, okay. I need one less guard in here. Okay. Um, so you, you're gonna try to stab, like, up yeah. into him? Like, through, like, up here? Okay. Yeah. nope <laughs> again you like you try <laughs> um so you you like try to stab him and you try to go up but you like do too much and it comes up like out his neck part of it but it doesn't actually hit him it's just like coming up against him <laughs> he feels a little uncomfortable <laughs> like he's been sexually assaulted <laughs> by a sword um he uh what is he gonna do what is um he? He's going to pull out, uh, essentially, like, a uh, taser and try to tase you. Alright. Um, he hits you. Oh, yeah. He gets you, uh, real good with that taser, and you just kind of like, <laughs> and you start falling over. Um, you're not unconscious yet, but you are seriously hurting. <laughs> um, you think it might be, like, uh... Being that your race is a little more like stronger than than humans and everything, um, or Xandar Xandarians, um, <clears throat> this thing's probably gonna have to get you with like with two or two or hits, two or three, two or hits, two hits. So to try to get you. So, uh, so am I like? Oh, on a... um, the other guard pulls a gun on you and he says, "Stand down." 
What do you want to do now? Am I? You're you're good. You're just a little am staggered. I on the ground or am I standing? No. Well, you caught yourself on like the the spinning uh, rack, so you're like kind of leaning on it a little bit. You're still standing though, okay. and it's your turn. Uh, you will have disadvantage if you try to attack him again. So I'm gonna try to get past him and go upstairs. <laughs> Okay, you want to run past them? Yeah. Uh, okay, so you start running for the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, you get to the bottom, you start running up, and the other guy's going to take a shot. Okay. Oh. He going to miss. Nope, he does not miss. <laughs> um, he's not trying to kill you because they want to catch you, so he shoots you square in the calf. Mm -hmm. um, um, your leg is like done <laughs> he shot through the muscle in your calf I know. so it's <laughs> rocket's gonna want my leg now <laughs> i mean they they can heal it with like their healing technology but like uh you're not gonna be able to run really quick at all you're, you're you can run like maybe half speed um and you you fall down on the stairs mm -hmm. what do you want to do I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out my blaster and i'm gonna shoot him which one the one that shot me he's farther away um <laughs> But I mean, it, it, I think he's close enough that it won't it won't do disadvantage. But I'm mad at him. I'm gonna shoot. Him. <laughs> okay. Um. Shoot me, you jerk. Nice. You just hit him. So, uh, uh, yeah. So you shoot him like uh right in the chest, and it goes it goes through the armor. The armor's not super uh, well equipped, uh, and he's gonna take that damage. So. He's mad at him. <laughs> Uh, shoot me, I shoot you. The other guard is also is is a uh, so his his thing that he tased you with was essentially like a tase stick. So he like extends it out so it's his full like that's like a you know tase stick or whatever. Um, and he's gonna try to run up and and tase you again. Yeah, essentially. Um, uh, nope. So he like he runs up and uh. Because he's on the stair, like he he runs up to the stairs and he like tries to get you and he stabs it like into the stair next to you. Uh, what do you want to do? He is like you. You want to shoot him in the face? Okay. Somehow, <laughs> um, you like you you like you're really like uh you're in a lot of pain. You're kind of like blurry eyed and plus you just got tased, so you're a little off. So you 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 um you reach up to like shoot him in the head and you end up putting it like right here and it just it ends up shooting like against the side of his head uh um. i like grazing this guy <laughs> <laughs> so the other guard is gonna well actually no because his friends though he's not gonna shoot he's gonna like run up closer and he's gonna have his taser and he's gonna try to tase you as well nope <laughs> he does not tase you but um, bad at tasing <laughs> He <laughs> he runs up and accidentally tases the shopkeeper that's just standing there. And the shopkeeper screams and goes down. Um, what do you want to do? Um, are either of them close enough that I can swing my sword and hit him? Yeah, they're both close enough. All right, I'm gonna swing my sword. Because essentially, like you're on the middle of the staircase, yeah. kind of like the lower half. Um, the one guy is literally over top of you, like with his okay. um taser okay. into the thing. So you want to go him? Yeah. Because the other guy, yeah, you you want to go yeah. for him? So. Uh, yeah, you, you hit him, so, um, <laughs> um, because you're, like, you're in pain and you're, you just got tased, you're a little weak, um, so you hit him, like, in the neck, but because you're, 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 like, your, uh, go is so weak, it doesn't do too much damage, um, okay, so you kind of, like, you dig into his neck a little bit, and it's, it hurts, but it's not a ton, it's just kind of, like, you know, a flesh wound or whatever, um, He's mad now because you just hit him in the neck. So he's just going to like try to punch you in the face. Okay. Nope. <laughs> so <laughs> he reaches up and he tries to punch you, but he's so mad and he got a little off because you hit him in the neck that he ends up punching his friend across the face. <laughs> um, he ends up doing three damage. Um, and the other guy falls down. He's going to be down for this turn. Um, so it's your turn again. I'm gonna try to slash at him again with my sword. Same guy. Yeah. Okay. So you, you know, it's it's uh it's in his neck. So you're gonna pull it out and try to yeah. lob it off again. Okay. Yeah. You hit him. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, you chop his head off. Yeah. 
His head said I would. goes flying and just kind of pinwheels blood everywhere across the store. Beautiful. Uh, you're a little bloody too because his neck's kind sure. of spouting out. Oh, yeah. And his body just... It falls, it falls onto you because mm -hmm. he's leaning that way. Now I have some um, protection. <laughs> so he is dead. Um, the other guard got up and he's gonna, he's mad now because you shot his friend. Oh, so yeah. he's gonna, he's gonna shoot you. I beheaded his friend. <laughs> yeah. He should be mad. Um, <laughs> my goodness. Nope. <laughs> uh, he's so enraged. He shoots at you, but because, um, the guy fell on top of you, he ends up shooting his body. <laughs> Got him. Uh, um, I'm gonna. Uh, this tussle has attracted attention, and you see uh, three more guards, uh, three more Nova Corps have come into I the wanna, room. I wanna, I wanna push the body off onto the other guy. Onto the other guy? Yeah. Okay. And then run um, there. It's unceremonious, but you get you get him over there, and in the, in the uh, I'll do evens. Uh, even. Yeah, you you push it over and onto his buddy. Um, and, and he just kind of falls over. He's going to be prone for this turn, too. What do you want to do? I want to run upstairs. You want to run upstairs? Okay. It's my only escape route right now. <laughs> so, uh, you, you, like, slowly and stumbling <laughs> run upstairs, um, and you end up in kind of a storage room, and essentially it's just, God. it's just stacks of stuff. Uh, you see another little alien guy, and you think he's, like, he's like a, a Zandarian, like, teenager, uh, in the corner, like, sorting things. <laughs> Um, he was kind of like just, he's not really doing anything though, because he was listening to like the fight happening downstairs, but he was too scared to go down. So he's just kind of frozen. He kind of looks at you, but he doesn't do anything. Um, so from where you're coming in at the shop, you know that your dagger will be on the right wall on the outside. Um, so I'm assuming you're still going for that. Yeah. Do you want to run over there? I'm going to run over there. Um, you said it's like between two windows is where I got stuck. Yeah, so, it, like, it's on, like, the board between two windows. So you could just open one, reach out, grab it. Yeah, that's... Do you want to run over there? If I were to... Okay, so... <laughs> the shop is here, and this is where the hotel is? The hotel's right next to it, yeah. There's, yeah, like, an alley right. in between. I think I'll run out into the street and just try to run. You have blood on you now. I'm fast. Okay. Your <laughs> cap is shot. You are half oh, speed. Oh, you're right. I'm not fast. You are half speed right now. <laughs> Your calf literally has a hole okay, through it. I'm I'm gonna You're in a lot of pain. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna open a window. I'm gonna grab my dagger. I'm gonna climb onto the roof. You have a floor to go through. Yeah, I can There's just a climb up floor. windows. Okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you get the dagger just for sanity's sake. Um odds are even. Um Uh Two guards come up the stairwell as you're climbing out, right. and you start climbing up, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to go up the stairs and try to get to the next level before you. Okay, well, I'm going to be fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you, uh, you get up to the next level, and you're getting onto the roof just as they're, like, like your, your hands are on the roof just as they're getting into that room, um, and so they're going to keep going up the stairs to the roof. Alright. Do I get out of the roof? Yeah, you're fine. Alright. You get up, stand up, and the door bursts open, and three guards are standing there. Ah! Uh, you are... Okay. <laughs> I want to point out, you are on Xandar, the main city of the world Xandar, which is the capital of the Space Police. Yeah. The Nova Corps. Uh-huh. There are a bunch of them. Uh-huh. I can get away. I'm Gamora. Okay. Alright. Uh, so let's say let's say I went to the back of the store. Would I be able to jump into the water, or is the water too far away? No, you can jump in. Uh, it will be like an extra story down because mm -hmm. the platform of the, the 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 city above the water is another story essentially. You're gonna be jumping down four stories, All so right. you have to make I'm, sure you don't take damage. I'm jumping. I'm diving in. I'm going. I'm gonna limp to the edge. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in. Gonna jump in. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm getting away. <laughs> um, odds or evens? Uh, evens. Okay. The one time. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say, okay. So you run over 
you jump, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't fall. You realize you're in one of those holding <laughs> beams from one of the Nova Corps ships. <laughs> no, uh, like from the first Guardians, you know, the Nova Corps ships have the traction. That's not a tractor beam, right? It's like a stasis beam or whatever. Um, and you're being held in that. Um, you can fight within that, but you're, you can't move. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're going to fly you over and pull you into the group of three guards. <clears throat> and while you're in stasis, they're going to start cuffing you. What do you want to do? You're gonna do anything? You're just gonna get. I'm going? just gonna go with it. Okay. Um, I'll escape. So, um, they they the ship pulls you over to the uh, the the group of guards, and two of them just start. They they two of them like stab you with the taser thing. Rude. You did just kill an officer. Rude. That's a crim like a criminal offense. <laughs> Among the many that you committed, <laughs> you killed a politician. A high-ranking politician. They still don't need to add insult to well, injury. Well, the problem is he's a high-ranking politician on Zendarian ground. Yeah, good. So... Nowhere is safe from Gamora. <laughs> so it's going to be a huge political thing with the Corbinites. It's going to be great. I started um, a war. So both of them stab you with their... Uh, whatever they are. Tasers. Taser sticks. Um, Taser sticks. You're in a lot of pain from your leg. Um, and you were tasered as well, so I'm gonna say, three like, you- Three now. Yeah, three. So, you're down. <laughs> you just, you kind of, like, you just black out. You go unconscious. Um, so when you wake up, uh, you find, you're, you're in, like, a prison cell. Um, you, it looks kind of like a traditional prison cell, except, um, like, kind of the stone walls and everything, except the back wall is a big glass window. Um... And instead of the classic metal bars on the on the door, it's just like an orange energy field. Um, and you've been in prison before, you know what this is. Um, and then as far as the setup, it looks like a normal prison cell. Like there's, um, there is a pillow on like a board that's against the, the wall. Um, and there's like a little bowl in the corner and that's supposed to be your toilet or whatever. And once you end up turning around and you look out the back window, and you see uh, Xandar, the planet, from afar. And you realize that you are in the kiln, which is a big, massive space prison. Cool. Um, I will break out. <laughs> uh, and that's where we'll leave it. Until right. next time. Say,